This is a case of you just never know what you're going to find out here. Oh my gosh. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise. To my eyes, you can use them as a mirror. You're my ticket to paradise. You know where we're going? Uh, I thought you knew where we were going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Taking a little hike off of Sycamore Canyon here in Arizona outside of Clarkdale. Probably aren't going to go very far on it, but you can sure tell there's a lot of animals to take this trail. Be careful. Ouch. I did the same thing. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Don't laugh. These things have stickers. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, that thing like grabbed my pant leg. <laughs> trying to jump a court joint. Ouch! Oh, God, Jesus. I know. <laughs> there are cliff dwellings across the river from us. So there is a lot of Native American history in this area. It's always fun to get out here and hike, though. Huh. We're almost out by the road again. We came down a little bit farther from where we were hiking. What you see out here is the Verde River. And part of this, it says on the map that we're in Sedona, but I think that we're still in Clarkdale or Cottonwood area. They're right next to each other. That's we're, kind of an interesting story. What's that with them? That, you know, the only thing separating us from of dollars and gold and silver yeah and across over there is that black mountain this is a 20 million ton slag pile along the Verde River here this is what was left over from the smelting process back in 1915 to 1952 from what I read searchlight officials say that the smelting process in Clarkdale never reached high enough temperatures to fully extract all the rich minerals from the slag. They did test drillings and they said that it shows that the slag contains rich deposits of gold, silver, zinc, and some remaining copper. It's estimated that this 20 million ton slag pile will produce 4 million ounces of gold. Finding all these shells they look like seashells. I don't know what they're doing here. Pretty interesting though. This is a case of you just never know what you're going to find out here. There go. Oh my gosh. Don't know. You, you want to go first? <laughs> this is scary. Oh my gosh. Look at this inside here. It's an old bed spring in here and a fire ring. Oh, okay. Okay, that's about as far as I'm going to go in there. Old 
over. I'm not going to go back any farther than this. Bob, he's going to go to the back, so I chickened out. I'm not going to go any farther. We made it up to the top here. And this is a blocked off shaft. I think it goes, it probably goes down to what we were just in. You probably can't see it good. I'll go to the other side. Okay. Maybe you could see it better here. There you go. There's a view of the canyon. So this is a really interesting area, interesting spot. Across the canyon, there were uh, some cliff dwellings that were in the rock, and then here is the a shaft that we found and then we found the cave and then on the other side of the road back over here is the black mountain from the mining operation that happened here over the last hundred and i think about 150 years very interesting spot though I'm trying to scoot down out of here okay keep holding it up ouch 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 out. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. This is not rambling. Uh, this is kind of rolling. This is, I know. Grab my hand. Okay, just a second. I think that that's about it for our hike up here. I think after this, we might be headed up towards. Jerome, right? Yes. Okay. We'll catch up with you guys on the next video in Jerome.